Hello everyone and welcome back to Photon Photography. Today we've got something really special to talk about, a lens that's especially exciting for me personally, the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 L Macro IS USM lens. This lens is not just your ordinary prime lens, it's packed with features that cater to both macro and portrait photographers, plus there's something truly unique we'll dive into later in the video, so let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about some of the key features of this lens. The Canon RF 100mm f 2.8L is built to impress with its high quality optics. It boasts a 17 element, 14 group optical formula that includes an ultra low dispersion element. This means sharp, high contrast images with minimal aberrations, even at wider apertures. For those who appreciate durability, this lens falls under Canon's renowned L-Series. It's dust and moisture resistant, making it dependable in various shooting conditions. And when it comes to stability, the optical image stabilization is worth mentioning. It offers up to five stops of shake correction, a true asset in both macro and low light situations. Autofocus System Now let's dive into the autofocus system of this lens. The Canon RF 100mm f 2.8L features a high-speed Nano USM autofocus system, and it's impressive. The Nano USM technology ensures quick and quiet autofocusing. This feature is particularly useful when you're capturing subjects in motion or during portrait sessions where speed and accuracy are crucial. Image quality. One of the most impressive aspects of this lens is the image quality. With a wide f2.8 maximum aperture, you'll achieve beautiful background blur, which enhances subject separation. The nine blade circular aperture gives you those pleasing rounded bokeh highlights, adding an artistic touch to your shots. I can't stress enough how sharp this lens is. Even at its widest aperture, chromatic aberrations are virtually non-existent and distortions are minimal. This means your images will have outstanding clarity and contrast. Applications. Now let's talk about where this lens truly shines, its applications. First up, macro photography. With a 1.4x maximum magnification and a minimum focusing distance of 10.2 inches, you can capture the tiniest of details with breathtaking clarity. I personally love macro photography. I haven't had a macro lens for a while now, and I'm so happy to finally have a true dedicated macro lens again. My EF version of this lens that I previously owned was able to produce one-to-one -one magnification, but the new RF version can go a bit closer up to 1.4x magnification, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a difference. Portrait photographers, you're in for a treat. The 100mm focal length and f2.8 aperture make it perfect for portraits. The creamy, customizable backgrounds will make your subjects pop Product photographers take note, the macro capabilities are invaluable for highlighting even the smallest product details with precision. Lastly, for low light situations, the f2.8 aperture really comes in handy, making it suitable for indoor events, weddings, and artistic low light photography. Innovative SA Control Ring Now it's time to dive into the much hyped SA Control Ring. SA, which stands for Spherical Aberration, is a feature that has generated quite a lot of buzz. But is it really all it's cracked up to be? The SA control ring lets you tinker with the lens's spherical aberration characteristics, theoretically giving you more control over your bokeh. Sure, you can customize your background blur, but let's be honest, how often are you going to do that? And here's the other thing. While you can shift the focus of those bokeh highlights, it's worth noting that when you mess with the SA control, it also introduces soft focus, creating a sort of dreamy effect to your images. It's neat to have these new options, but will you actually find it useful using them in the real world? 
That's a question only you'll be able to answer, but for myself, I think it's a cool option to have, but will most likely not use it too often, as I'm not really a fan of the soft focus look. Luckily, Canon did include a lock switch for the SA control ring, so you can lock it into neutral and not worry about accidentally activating it. Conclusion. In conclusion, the Canon RF 100mm f 2.8L macro IS USM lens is a powerhouse in the world of prime lenses. Its optical excellence, macro capabilities, and innovative SA control ring set it apart from the rest. Whether you're a macro enthusiast, portrait photographer, or a creative artist, this lens offers a world of possibilities. So there you have it, my in-depth review of the Canon RF 100mm f 2.8L macro IS USM lens. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more photography reviews, tips, and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.